welcome to another great video of Cultivating Inner Beauty, where we're all about loving our healthy selves from hair, skin, and nutrition. And that, my friend, starts from within. It's been several weeks since my myomectomy surgery, and one of the things that really helped me a lot during this time was my diet. Eating specific foods helped me to recover faster. And so one of the things that the doctor told me is that I can eat anything I want to, but I know with these foods that I'm about to share with you, this specifically helps when it comes to recovering after surgery. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you wanna replenish on is your protein. After having a big surgery like that, you may feel extra weak and extra tired because of your lack of energy. That's also because of the amount of blood that you may lose throughout your surgery procedure. Uh, iron in your body, it helps to create blood cells and this is what also helps to uh, give you more energy. This is also the building block for muscle growth, the amino acids from protein. So try to um, replenish yourself with protein. Now for me, I drank a lot of um, vegetable broth, uh, chicken broth. I did that a lot because my stomach wasn't um, up for solid food just yet. So I did that. I did, um, what else? Eventually I did chicken eventually but um, I mostly stuck with the broth at first. The second thing is vitamin C. Vitamin C focuses on rebuilding your collagen and soft tissue. So if you have a myomectomy um, surgery procedure, then chances are you're gonna have that C-section scar. And what's gonna help to uh, get your wound to heal faster and to look more smoother is by you increasing your vitamin C intake. So outside of supplements, if you could get it mostly in your food, then that would be great. But you could also get a supp supplement as well. Uh, focus on foods that's high in vitamin C, like your berries, uh, strawberries, blackberries, blueberries. And you also want to increase your dark leafy greens, like your spinach. Another thing to know about your dark leafy greens like your spinach, your kale, or your bok choy, is that it's not only high in vitamin C, but it's also high in vitamin E, K, A, and all of these will help in um, help you getting healed faster. It'll help with reducing the appearance of your wound, and it will also help in reducing blood clotting, which could happen um, especially after surgery. Number three are your fats. Your healthy fats is what's gonna help you to absorb um, vitamins faster and at a better rate. So uh, your healthy fats are high in vitamin E. So pay attention to your oils, like your olive oil, uh, avocado, um, fats like that are your good fats. And this is what's gonna help to um, get you healed and slow down the appearance of the wound. Another thing that's been helping me in getting my swelling down has been eating whole grains. So carbs and um, a lot of fiber, uh, from my oats, uh, quinoa, uh, foods like that really helps with reducing swelling. And the last one that I have for you today are probiotics. So when you first go into the hospital, they're giving you anesthetics, antibiotics, painkillers, and your body isn't used to that. So when it's getting all of these different types of medications and everything, your stomach is like, what is going on? And that's what causes the uneasiness and the nausea feeling that you experience after surgery. So in order to get your gut back on track, then it starts with a good probiotic. A good uh, probiotic will help create that good atmosphere that your stomach likes. So the bacteria in your stomach so that's out. my list of foods of what's helping me to recover quickly right now. If you've enjoyed that list and you wanna learn more, then be sure to subscribe to Cultivating Inner Beauty. I talk on things of faith, health and wellness, and I'm sure you fit those also. So subscribe and also join the Cultivating Inner Beauty community where I share the same kinds of tips as well. All right, beautiful. Talk to you later.